This is AutoCAD 3D Lesson 1.5 Part 2. It will cover the setup layout for 3D viewport. Okay. Mm, I suggest you learn the part one first, so you have all these uh, 3D chairs and table, and then do this. Okay. So let's start. First, you click on the layout. So this is for porting. Move over and select this border here. This is actually a type of object called viewport. It allows you to display the things inside the modeling environment. So first I will click this border and then erase it. Okay. And I will move over here the layout right click and then select the page setup manager. From here, I will just modify. And here, I will select the DWG to PDF. Okay. And I will click the property here and change the modify center paper size and move it down. I'll look for the ISO A4 paper. For example, this one, ISO A4. 297210 and I will do the modify change all the margin to 5 okay and next next finish you just need to do this once okay okay if you don't change the margin you can't use the whole paper they always a uh, big uh, margin and then okay and then I will click this drop down and click the up arrow and select the corresponding paper I changed it before. ISO A4297210. Okay. And I don't need to change these layout things. I just need to set up using AutoCAD post style table. Okay. Mm, for detail about porting, maybe I will put in another video for you. Okay. So I will OK. And then close. You can see the margin is at the corner. Now I can type a command called MV, make viewport. Okay. And here I will select the free viewport. And then it will be the white. And then space bar for fit. White means that it will put a large viewport on the right and smaller viewport on the left. Okay. Now I will double click inside this particular viewport. I will go to the top view. Okay. I change it to 2D wireframe. Good. And then I will click on this view. I will change it to a uh, fun view. I will click here this label and then the fun view and then for this one I will use hidden okay and finally for, for this isometric view I'll just move to some angle and I will just right click and select perspective because uh, most of the time for isometric presentation we like perspective okay just like that right click select perspective okay for modeling we use parallel for presentation we use perspective okay next i need to do all these uh, annotation to do that just double click the empty area so give me back to the paper space so you if you see, see this triangle this is in paper space if you double click inside one viewport, this is in model space. Okay. So I actually assume you know about the layout. You just need to follow what I'm doing. If you don't know about that, uh, maybe I will prepare a video for you later. Okay. So, uh, next thing to do is do the dimension. I will type the before that I need to set up the dimension style for this type of dimension to do that type D spacebar I will use ISO 25 and modify and go over to fit 
make sure you select this one scale dimension to layout if you are going to dimension in the paper space you always select this one so that they actually free setting annotative scale dimension to layout and use overall these related to different way of plotting i will cover in other video about uh, very detail importing okay so make sure you select scale dimension to layout okay and close okay then uh, you can do dimension so dli for dimension linear i will move it here just click and click and move it down you see nice and easy and the same here space bar to continue click 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 space bar continue click click and click okay space bar continue you see so easy so click and click and click okay and then for the other side space bar click and let me see this is here so i move over here and then move it horizontally click and move okay and then spacebar from this corner to this corner you see i'm using the object snap tracking i don't want to put the dimension line across the 3d object okay and i select the same location okay and then for the other side the same click and then move over here and move it click this one next this corner and then this corner okay and then this corner and the top okay just like that okay so this is finished and thank you for watching bye bye